Now, what about policy and politics? Because that's kind of intertwined with medicine throughout mm -hmm. your career. When did you become interested uh, in that? You know, um, I think I had an inkling that I was interested in policy even early in my academic career when I was doing health services research. Because I was, the, 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 the gist of it is that I went from taking care of individual patients, and I did continue to do that for decades, but taking care of an individual with, say, diabetes, and began to understand it, you know, from them and my relationship with them that their life happened, or their, their, first it was their, their disease happened in a context. The context I saw most acutely was the other doctors who cared for them or the health system in which they worked. And that caused me to want to be a teacher, to teach other doctors to do great quality care, to, and then the next layer was, how can I make the hospital system higher quality? How can I make the ambulatory environment more accessible? That's that layer of the system around them. And I think as I began to do that work, I realized that there were also um, payer systems and community contacts and, and these other concentric rings um, that were uh, causing different differential health outcomes, especially in the patients that I was caring for, which were largely from communities of color or low income um, or uninsured. So when Katrina happened in 2005, Hurricane Katrina, um, and I was in the midst of you know teaching research, clinical care, and, and leadership roles in the in the medical school at the time. I uh, something had to give, right? So the things that you care about, but but though some things started to give, I actually ended up adding because I thought, well, I can make a bigger difference in the lives of my community if I'm thinking about the policy context that's shaping the way our health system is set up or how transportation systems are set up and. That, that for me was just a sort of stepping back and reflecting at the time of that disaster that the poor health that I was helping my patients navigate, maybe this was our chance to shape policy so that them, not only for them, but the next generations to come would have access to healthy food and green space and public transportation that could get them to jobs and or jobs that would give them meaningful economic opportunity, all those things leading to better health in addition to great to great access to great care including uh, great primary care so it was very it was very driven by my interest in helping my patients honestly i mean it was just like well this will work but it'll be better if if we keep adding things i think the politics piece i'll just want to make a comment about that is um one of the most interesting jobs i've had um it was when i was uh, in the obama administration and I served as the Assistant Secretary for Health, and that is a job that very much lives at the nexus of science, policy, and politics. And it was the first time I saw how crisply, not only are they intersectional, but, but how, how that you can see data differently depending on where you sit and how important it is to have people who know community and know science and like, you know, know medicine to be in those seats and are thinking about all those things uh, contemporaneously so they can balance them and, and, make a, and make a good judgment. But I'd say over time, um, policy is a place where I, I just feel like there's so much opportunity to do good. And, and it's the place I always nav navigate back to. Politics, less interesting to me. Science, always interesting, but it has to be science-based policy. <laughs>